I do. Do you? I do. You've always been my favorite student. I love you, princess. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, I can explain. I can explain. Oh, hey, me pony, what's up to me, Dane the Dude? And I'm gonna do another Let's Watch. That's right, I'm gonna be doing episode 11. And I tell you, though, I'm actually, you know, enjoying season 4 a lot so far. So, seriously, like, seriously, I, seriously I'm just having fun. And seriously, not to mention, you know, you know, we freaking saw, you know, Derpy. So, fucking Derpy's back, yeah! <laughs> so, seriously, so, that that's awesome, that's awesome. So seriously, so in other words, y yeah, from from seeing you know that Derpy was back from Rainbow Falls, you know who knows maybe we'll see her in other episodes from the background. So, you know yeah. Anyway though, let's just dive right in, cause I'm already ready. So anyway though, so this episode's called, you know, you know threes a crowd. So anyway, though, let's see I do a shall we in three, two, one. Oh, bless you. Oh, hey, Spike. Girls here! <laughs> yes, yes, please be a yes. Please be a yes. Yes for what? Yes! Yay! She can make it! She can make it! Going out on a limb here. But I'm guessing that Princess Caden said she can come this weekend. Huh. I'm finally That's awesome. Get to spend some quality time with my sister-in-law. This is the best news ever. Yay! Um, so sorry for barging in like this, but I'm so excited I just couldn't wait to tell some pony. <laughs> The Equestrian Society for the Preservation of Rare Creatures have given me permission to observe the rarest, tiniest, most adorable magical creatures in all of Equestria. That's the nice. The Breezies! Wow, Fluttershy, that's fantastic. Oh, it's not just fantastic. Hmm. It just might be the best news ever. <laughs> I just made the most incredible mail any pony's ever received in all of recorded what is it? <laughs> well, be well, that's nice. Except for a rare, cutest creature, and Prince Kate is coming back. But seriously, though, seriously, though, I, I got this. I know I got this from King Four Star, but seriously, for Spike, someone should make like a freaking Spike. Um, like seriously, because seriously, he's getting like hurt in a couple of episodes and even get humiliated a little bit of bucket so, so seriously we should, we should get like how many times Spike just got so really cause seriously it's fucking a no, it's developed for television by Lauren Falls I like things alright I just like that joke he is a rock. Nice hat. Cold. You look nice in a fedora. And I'll pack you a basket of nice fresh apples in case you get home. That's have nice. a great time. Oh, I will. And I hope you have fun with Cadence. All aboard! Hmm. Goodbye, yep. Bye, Fluttershy. Goodbye, everybody. Fluttershy. <laughs> Biggie. <laughs> That's nice to know. You're a good friend. Oh, something floaty! Let me go! <laughs> I'm a bit nervous uh, about Cadence's random. visit. What could you be nervous about, Twilight? Cadence just loves you to pieces. I know, hmm. but I really want her visit to go without a hitch. Why wouldn't it? <laughs> well, 
Aww. the last few times we've seen each other haven't exactly been worry-free. The fate of Equestria has hmm. hung in the balance during most of your visits with her. That is true. Exactly. You know, she was kept really prisoner by, you know, friends again, the Chang's which is queen, why it is queen so Chrysalis important that this visit and be about the two of us having some real quality time like, together. You know, I guess we've to, got like, a plan that'll hold keep the shield way. from Sombra. The timing couldn't be more perfect. For one day only, right here in Ponyville, the Star Swirl the Bearded Traveling Museum. Cadence and I can <laughs> spend the cool. whole day looking at Star Swirl the Bearded Artifacts. Sounds like a perfect drama-free way to spend a day with Cadence. Not counting the drama surrounding which of the bells for his cloak they've chosen to put on display. Spoiler alert, it's this one. <laughs> uh, sorry, Freaking something rainbow. in my throat. Like a big ball of lame. I think it sounds delightful. Yup, yeah, definitely thanks, sounds Randy. like you two will have some real quality time together. Exactly, just quiet time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, did you here? Either that or there's some pony else who has a crystal thing. What the? What the? Is that last entry? Oh, Kaden! She's not! Your Highness. <laughs> I'm teasing, Twilight. We're <laughs> sisters in law. We don't have to be so formal. Exactly. Okay, I think they just give him a short cameo. Knowing you, you've made some plans. Boy, have I. Hang on just one <laughs> second. You guys, now, now, don't you worry about a thing. We will make sure that nothing but nothing interferes with your visit. Go on, have yeah. a good manny with your kinfolk. You really are the best friends a pony could ever have. Uh, Come in, Kaden! Yeah. I'm gonna make sure that nothing spoils their day. What the sound? What is that thing? Whatever it is, duck! <laughs> it doesn't look anything like a duck! It means go down! What is that? Oh, not a what, but a who, dear. Oh, Wait, no! Discord? That sounds like that. The hell? <laughs> Wait, why are you blue? What in tarnation are you doing here? And why the jumping June bugs are you blue? More like a shade of cerulean, <laughs> to be precise. Whatever color you <laughs> nice are, know, it's the color of trouble. Oh, Rainbow Dash, I've changed. Surely you remember I was reformed by lovely little. <laughs> 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 Well, at least it's nice to know you? he knows. Sick or something? You know, well, of course I'm sick. Well, the say goodbye to that pony who was in that house. He sneezes. Could somebody find me a fainting couch? Yeah, Rarity. Oh, charming, thank you. I can't stop sneezing and wheezing in short. I need help. If you're so sick. <laughs> Why have you come here instead of, you know, staying home in bed and getting over your weird illness? And drink some soup. <laughs> because this condition has left me helpless. Simply helpless. Hmm. Why, I can barely lift a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I came to find the one pony who truly understands me and could nurse me back to health. Where is that dear, sweet Fluttershy? I need attention. <laughs> I need some care. I need Wait, I thought you said you came and left the spoon. Fluttershy's out. Oh, of course. Her trip to see the Breezies. Oh, yes, well, I had forgotten that that was today. How do you know about her trip? Well, she told yeah. me about it in her last letter. You and Fluttershy write each other letters? Well, of course we do. We're friends. <laughs> It's just such a shame that today of all days is when I really need her. Oh well, I know what to do. Good thinking. Head on home, put your feet up. I'm sure eventually you'll <laughs> yep. have the strength to make yourself soup or something. Yep. Goodbye. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, uh... while she's gone, you ponies can take care of me. Isn't that what <laughs> friends are for? Taking care of each other. I don't think you guys are really friends. <laughs> Not it. <laughs> well, 
Well, nice that's one, some Rainbow. way to treat a suffering friend. <laughs> She's like, stuff of the morning. <laughs> that rarity and Applejack already volunteered to be my own personal nursemaid. Wait, wait, did they? We did. I so hope you don't mind, Pinkie Pie. Well, as a matter of fact, I most certainly. Hey! Fucking <laughs> okay, throwing away this part like a balloon. Oh, that's so cute. That Joker's up to something, and whatever it is, we're gonna wait, keep it Joker? as far away from Twilight and Princess Kate as uh, possible. No, no, that's this card. You're right. We promised we wouldn't let anything ruin their visit. Although I do so wish that anything had turned out to be something else. Did I hear you two talking about Princess Cadence's visit with Princess Twilight? Maybe. Fluttershy had mentioned that those two were getting together today. Mm, how wonderful for them both. It is so rare that those two get to see one another. I don't know about you, but I sometimes wonder how close they could actually be all those years apart before being reunited. They're plenty close. And yeah. if they're not, this rare opportunity to focus on their friendship will certainly bring them closer. Unless... Don't even think about it. What? They mustn't be disturbed. Disturb them? Why, well, I wouldn't dream of it. Not when I have two such dear friends of my own who have already offered to take care of me. And at such peril. Mostly by force. This flu of mine is highly <laughs> contagious. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, you fucking asshole. You, you made no, Rarity and I'm Applejack sick. Whomever shall I turn to now in my time of need? There's always Pinkie Pie! A whole day to celebrate Star Swirl of Bearded. What could be better? Oh, that's cool. Absolutely nothing. Is that the candlestick he used to light the way when he was exploring the caverns of Mertania? It sure is. Oh, I can't believe I'm getting to see it in real life. That's cool. What well, looks like from the Nightmare Night ah! episode? Looks like. You know, Twilight succeeded of everybody knowing about Star Wars. Discord, what are you doing here? Oh dear, dear princesses! I'm sorry to say that I'm sick. <laughs> we can see that. Blue flu. Blue flu? Oh, I fear I've already given it to poor Applejack and Rarity. <laughs> <laughs> Magic health bubble. Good thinking. Yep. Indeed. How would Twilight nurse me back to health if she was sick too? You will be letting me stay at your place until I'm all better, won't you? Stay with me? Uh, now is not really the best time. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm sure no. you know that. But taking in the sick and the desperate, isn't that what Fluttershy would do? Isn't helping something that friends do for friends? Yeah, but Unless, of course, you're really saying that you're not my friend. Pretty much, yeah. No, that is not what I'm saying. Oh, oh how elated I am to hear that. Shall the three of us head back to your place? I don't want to get any pony else sick. <sighs> Guess we don't have much choice. There is a crowd, I should think. Me? It isn't far. I think you can manage. Oh, <laughs> he's doing the worms. Need anything else? Just knowing that I have a good friend like you to take care of me has made me feel better already. I'll be fine here on my own. Oh, just before you go, <laughs> just a little small request. <sighs> it's going to be fine. We'll just get him what he wants and be back to the exhibit in no time. What was it oh, that you good. needed? A little glass of water, please. A fresh pressed hanky if I sneeze. Some tea with honey from the bees. Whenever you can brew it. I'll get your tea. And while I get a little rest, a teeny tiny <laughs> small request. Some codfish oil for my chest. Poured from a crystal cruet. A crystal cruet? My goodness, I'm a nincompoop because I fear I've got the croup I need. Oh, wow. A little pumpkin you know? soup and skulls made out of zinnias. Did I say zinnias? I meant silk or something shiny of that ilk. And then I'll need some nice warm milk and taste with some And wow. since my stomach's Good feeling game. crummy, why not give my aching tummy something soothing, something yummy piled up with noodles? Add a slice of home 
made rye with stacks of Swiss way up high. Uh, Served with stacks of sweet meats by more basil. I need noodles. <laughs> Anything else? I'll be nice grateful for your charity until the bitter end. Because I've heard the tenderness <laughs> is what you lend an ailing friend. Tenderness, isn't that right, friend? Right, but... So, who's ready for my big reprise? I'd like that glass of water, please. Some magic spell to cure disease. <laughs> a fresh Harry Potter! A, sneeze, a fresh bouquet of roses. Some lozenges will soon appease my wheezing when I start to sneeze. And wait to keep me from the breeze of blankets for my toes. Take tweezers out of my valise and then massage my knobby knees. A bowl of peace, some extra cheese, a couple with a Pekingese. A singing harp was written Louise. A goat on skis, a neutral piece, and more and more and more and more of you. Piggy boy. And just because I ought to make sure I'm drinking in the right amount of fluids day and night. I wish I may, I wish I might have just one little thing. Oh, would you please finally bring me that tiny glass? In the name of <laughs> Oops, sorry. You're a dick horn, right, you know that? Guess. How did you even catch this flu? Inadequate hoof and claw washing? There must be some way to just cure you. There has to be a spell or a remedy in one of my books. Or there chicken is soup? One way. And you didn't think to mention it earlier? Slipped my mind. On a hill at the very edge of Equestria, there grows an exquisite magic flower. Pick the flower as it drops its petals at sunset. Then you can make a magical soothing elixir to cure the blue flu. I suppose you have a good reason you didn't bother to go get this flower as soon as you realized you were sick. Well, I couldn't travel that far in my condition. By the time I got there, I'd be too weak to even attempt to retrieve the flower. So, where exactly are Cadence and I headed? <laughs> well, <clears throat> <laughs> you want to head north? Turn left? Oh. <laughs> it's a you yes, know, going to it would be much easier if Road I took trip. you there myself. I thought you were in no condition to travel. Yeah. I'm not. We'll need to make some arrangements. <laughs> little over for are we? Doing okay there? <laughs> to be honest, I'm a little out of practice when it comes to flying. Well, then lucky for you, we're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm Twilight, it's I'm Kaden. I'm really sorry about this. All I wanted was for us to have some peaceful quality time together. I know. I was looking forward to it too. This is the top. But where is that flower? Wow, oh. that's a big flower. Come on. If we hurry, we can still have some time together. Yeah. Urgh. Yeah, we did it! I used my earth spending yeah. powers Let's while they did, you home. know, magic. And all our problems are what solved. Equestria? What the fuck? Wait, what? Whoa! That is kind of cool. Rocks! 
Da 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 da. Okay. Yes. Better than okay, actually. Then let's get Discord back to Ponyville, make that elixir, and finally get a chance to spend some quality time together. <laughs> yeah. To the ends of Equestria to face such great danger, and she did it for me. She did it all for me, for me. For You're me. a fucking dick. <laughs> But I had a very good reason. We're listening. Well, I was in my thinking tree. That's where I do most of my really deep thinking. I was there and I said to myself, I said, Discord, your friend Twilight says that she's your pal, but she never writes and she never pops in for a visit. I don't even know where you live. Now that she's a That's princess, true. maybe she decided that she's too good for you. I have never considered myself too. But how was I supposed to know for sure Dude, that I'm quick, 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 still her off. with one of the most important ponies around? I'm not more by seeing if you would go to the ends of Equestria for me, of course, which you did literally. Congratulations, Twilight! You passed my friendship test. <laughs> <laughs> Why the angry eyes? You love passing tests. It's not because my little exam put a damper on your visit with Princess Cadence, is it? Made it so that there was no time for you two to focus on your friendship. You didn't put a damper on our visit at all. You I didn't? didn't? What? Spending the day at the Star Swirl the Bearded Exhibit would have been more relaxing, but to be honest, relaxation is the last thing I need. It is? Don't get me wrong, life in the Crystal Empire is wonderful, but right. it's become a little... predictable. Ah. I enjoy a little excitement now and then. Getting to face all these challenges today was just what I needed. And facing them with you just made me realize even more how lucky I am to have some pony like you as a friend. Much better than that, sisters. We may not see each other very often, but I know you'll always be there when I need you. Just like she was there for you, Discord. Yes, she's a real sweetheart. We're all so <laughs> lucky to have her in our lives. Yeah, we can, you can probably get going. Like, get the fuck out. What in the world? Great. I think it's pretty clear that my visit with Cadence didn't go quite the way I expected. <laughs> But in the end, I realized that when you're with a good friend, even the most chaotic day can end up being a great experience that brings you closer. Wouldn't you agree, Discord? Yes, Twilight. I don't want to go saying you got what you deserved. Well, I have no trouble saying it. You got what you deserved. Yeah. yeah. He's learned his lesson. Isn't that right, my little patient? I'm so glad that you're back from your trip, Fluttershy. Just your presence here is making me feel so much better. Yes, I was uh... just wondering, could I trouble you for just one more thing? No! <laughs> I was simply going to ask for a teeny tiny glass of water. <laughs> oh, that was actually funny. Ugh, okay, Discord, maybe I take that back. Maybe you're not completely a dick, Cord. Okay, so I guess I take that back. I'm guessing, you know, they're not, uh, he's not completely a dick. And I'm guessing through his, you know, reaction to that big, weird creature thing, I'm guessing he did not uh, suspect that. So, I'm guessing. You know, I take that back. So, for all the, you know, Discord's fan out there, please don't be mad. You know, Discord is cool and all, and yeah. This is Disney, so, yeah. But all I know is, you know, still a Nightmare Moon fan. But anyway, though. Okay, so through my review on this, I have to say, uh, through this episode, I feel like I saw a couple reference through, uh, Harry Potter! And, I don't know, with the with the tree that he summoned, uh, kind of remind me a bit of Dr. Seuss a bit. 
you know, with, with, with that tree a bit, but I could be wrong. <laughs> and I, I guess in, like how he was like singing a little and I think he was rhyming, but I, I don't know. <sighs> but seriously though, that was pretty silly though. But seriously though, seriously though, not even, I hope no pony was living in that house that was flying away, cause seriously. For all we know is, it, it, that could have been maybe Fruitberry Punch. I'm just spitballing which pony. It, it could be, you know, Fruitberry Punch that was in that, you know, house. So, <laughs> you know, that would suck for her. And as I said, you know, from the episode of, like, you know, Luna Eclipse, one of my favorite episodes through season two, um, you know, nobody even know Jack Shed who was star for the bearded. And it's like Twilight said, you know, maybe I should, you know, I forgot what she said, maybe like teach everybody about this, you know, and turns out it looks like, you know, if they have a festival in, you know, in Ponyville, then it looks like that, you know, that, that it actually works, so yay! Alright, and, and it was really nice to see Princess Cadence, like, Princess Cadence again, because seriously though, you know, she, she's a really nice pony, you know, and yeah. But it was pretty interesting to see Flash Sentry. But I think they just gonna use him, j j just use him as like a cameo or something. Cause I don't know, if you're watching like this uh, one review through uh, you know, I like, I love Kim Possible a lot. Um, you know, basically that, you know, the person who've been working on the new season of Milo Pony said that, you know, that Flash Sentry is not gonna be in the new season. So, you know, I'm guessing for people who are suspecting the whole Flash Sentry and Twilight Sparkle shipping, probably not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Well, in My Little Pony, though. You know, so, yeah. So, so anyway, though, you know, I, I said this episode was pretty funny, seeing, like, Discord again. And just, just seriously, that is really cool, actually. And just seriously, what a couple of, of random stuff. It was nice to see, to, you know, see some of the chaotic stuff. Cause to tell you the truth, though, when I saw him on like that, on that, you know, on the first episode of season four, it wasn't really that much uh, Discord, Discord that much. I mean, sure, he he said a couple of funny things and did a few things, even saying a little bit of Rinko wrap up. Just, I don't know, I just felt like he didn't really do that much, really. Just did only a few things, and yeah. But it was really nice to see him doing a, a couple of silly things and messing with ponies again. Uh, it's just like old times. You, you remember, you remember, you remember, you know. Like, remember, you know, when, 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 you know, when Discord came on season two, and basically, you know, you know, you know, basically, you know, had... You know all the ponies from the main six. You know, looking for him, and they and he basically took their wings and horns, and yeah, and then later made them turn to the opposite of the pony. You know, just messing around with every pony and doing some crazy stuff with some stuff with some things. Seriously, I'm just saying it's good to see you know Discord again, even though of course he is reformed. He is reformed. So seriously though, so I have to say this this was a this was a good episode. I approve of it. And you know, even though though it was kind of ironic at the end, how he was all like faking like oh, I'm sad and, and then later faking then later now I'm really sick. <laughs> you know, I just think that's kinda of funny. Ugh. But there's only one question I have on on this episode. You know, for that walking, you know, you know, streetlight, uh, you know, you know, I wonder it, you know, where where the, that person is going. Maybe, you know, that you know that light thing will you know make some friends. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Honestly, that's like the only question I could think of. Okay, and then just to say though, that is, and, you know, and I do think, you know, it was nice that, you know, Twilight and Cadence got to spend time with each other, and that was, that was sweet. Hmm. 
So, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. You know, let's watch. And yes, and later, you know, after a few reactions, I am going to be doing episode 12. And as my friend Pytisiker told me, you know, it, the episode was called, you know, uh, Pinky Pride, I think that's what it's called. I think that's what it's called. He told me it's very promising, so I cannot wait to watch it. So, you know, so, you know, so stick around. So until then, I'm Dan the Dude, and I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. A bro, stay awesome.